What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel, Neil Bone Fishing. Neil Bone needs to be fishing, but man, apparently we're stuck in a room, alright? It's winter time, the lakes are frozen, there's nothing much I can do, but I do got some pretty cool hacks. So, figure why not just go through some things, get us prepared for when we get out there and the water thaws out. But I got some really cool hacks, and I think you're going to like them. You'll at least be able to take something away from this video. It's more of an educational video, but let's get into it. All right, so hack number one, get a bag of split rings here. You could get the Eagle Claw ones very cheap for like under $2 at Walmart, and you get quite a few of them in all different sizes. Take a split ring, throw it right up on this worm here, start at the slender part first, pull it up. Now, a lot of times, these style hooks here, they bend and they break. Especially the Z-Man ones. So, most people would throw these away. I keep them. Get yourself a pair of snips. Put it up in there. Cover, cover it up. Clip that. Then we're going to cut this eye off. Because in here, this metal is shaped like... The hook is shaped like an L. So, this will not come off. You can leave that there if you like. But I'd rather keep it clean. There we go. Now we have a Nico weight. And see how slender that is? So we'll be able to get up in any worm here. There we go. Get it up. Now that's not coming out. You could cast that as much as you want. That's not coming out. You could also add super glue to it. So there we go. Now we turn what would have been thrown away into a Nico weight. And we were able to use it on much thinner plastics. All cleaned up. Looking pretty good. We got our zoom trick worm. And now you got yourself a very functioning, working Nico rig. Hack number two. Now this one's one of my favorites here. We have a swim bait jig. We have a spinner bait. We're going to make our own underspin. So here we go. We got this spinner bait. A lot of times you can find these in the water and they're demolished. But one thing that's good on them is the blade. So... We're going to use the blade off of here for the demonstration. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take everything. You're going to want to make sure you have the swivel. You don't need, if you don't have a split ring, that's fine. But you do want your blade to be attached to some kind of swivel. That's very important. Now we have our blade. Now we have our hook. You're going to want to get some really thick line here. You can go to Walmart and get the uh, Zebco Omniflex 50 pound for like three bucks. And there's a lot of other uses for thick line. What we're going to do is in our fingers, we're going to start a knot. One, two, three, four. We're going to want to go through. We're going to get this prepared. All right, we got our knot started. We're going to take our swim bait head or jig head. We're going to pull this down. You want a knot that tightens down on it. So pull that down tight. There we go. That line's not going nowhere. Now that we got the line nice and secure on a swim jig, we're going to clip that part. We have a nice thick strand running straight down at the bottom of the jig. Now, we're going to take our little willow blade. Going to put it on this line here. And this is not very hard, guys. You, you could do it. If you could tie a knot, you could do this. I just do the old little clinch knot, slip knot, whatever it's called. Just gonna thread that through. And 
that is it. We are going to clip this off. Let me tighten this down. We're going to tighten our knot down. Now we got the knot tight. We're going to clip it. Now we made ourselves an underspin. So you are ready to thread on your paddle tail. And when you put the bait on, this is going to keep everything together. And there you go. You got an underspin. Easy peasy. You can make your own underspins whenever you want. It's that simple. The thick line is stiff enough to hold it there. It'll come through. It'll bend. Very good. I really like this one, and I do use this one. It's a great hack. Hack number three. Now, this hack here is very simple. You're just going to have to find the right Q-tips. These are the plastic Q-tips that have the hollow tube. So, what you want to do is you want to cut that off. As you can see in there. It's hollow. Now it's best to cut one part of it on an angle here. So we have a sharp point. Now we're going to make our own line through bait. We're going to go right through the head here. And it will pull out a nice clean sliver. So now you can take a big six inch fluke that otherwise you may not have the proper hook size for. And that'll be easy. And that'll be able to fish it. So we're going to push that through. We're, we're a little off center. Just a little bit. But not bad. We're going to take this. Get our cutters as close as we can to it. And this is a really quick, easy hack. Now we could take some line. Using a thick line so you guys could see. There we go. This bait will slide up and down the line. What you want to do is you want to get a nice treble hook. And just down. Go. Clip the tag in. And there you go, guys. That's simple. You now have yourselves a line through swim bait. You could do it on a fluke. You could do it on a big paddle tail. It doesn't matter. Just stick your uh, hook up in there. With a fluke, it works really good because it hides the hook. And there you go. It's not coming out. Only when the fish bites it, then it gets out of the way. The fish no longer has leverage to throw the bait. And now, you don't even need a crazy setup to fish this. Because you're just using a treble hook. Really cool. Simple, easy hack. Works all the time. You could also use a metal rivet. But I like the Q-tip, you know. But if you do want more weight, that's where the metal rivet could come in handy. But this is nice, slow, subtle, perfect. Our next hack. This is where the thick line comes handy. This will make your baits last much longer. It can be a pain in the butt to do, but it's not that bad, I promise. So what you want to do is you want to take a thick piece of line... And with a thick line, it pushes through the bait very easy, nice and accurate. So you just push through, go through the eye here. It'll come right out the bait. And all you want to do is take a clippers, cut that, cut that. Now, this bait will last you so much longer because it cannot pull down a hook. It stays there. 
it will not pull off. So a little simple modification that you could do. I always just keep a little bit with me when I'm fishing. I go like this. I pull some off the roll. Pull some off the roll. And I just coil it us up. Like this. Stick it in a pouch. It stays in my bag. And the thick line will just stay coiled up like this. And you just put it somewhere. And you just get a piece. Stick it through. And then just cut this in. And you could always just keep using it as much as you need. But this will really make your baits last so much longer. If you have never tried it, I definitely recommend it. Now let's pull it. Look at that. It, that was a lot of pressure. Ah, freaking cat bit me. Yo. Alright, so the next one is a follow-up. Most people, again, would say, Well, this bait's no good. Throw it away. I will reuse this bait. I will take this bait. Cut it. Get rid of that. Now I have a Ned bait, but there's something I do to modify my Ned bait, and this is really cool. I'm going to take a nice sharp knife. I'm going to cut this down. Wait till I'm done. This thing's going to be a night and day difference. See, check that out. But what you want to do is beat this thing up, right? Get all that salt. It's going to look so good at the end. Changing the color. We're getting it nice and beat up looking. Take these little parts and roll them around a bit. Just color them. So they get really flexible. And then this part right here. Right where the split's at, take this, and I round this off. I really pinch hard, and I roll it around. Pinch the heck out of it. It's going to give it a lot of great action. It helps these to flare out. Now look at that. Look how limber that thing is. It's almost like a bulbous. It goes in here. I worked that so it's really like a pine cone. Not a pine cone, like a pineapple. Look at that. That's pretty killer right there. Get yourself a little Ned hook. You know, the best way to come up with a lot of hacks and stuff is to always think of how to reuse something. You know? Don't ever think something's done with. There's always another way to use it. And that's how I, I think of things, you know. Really sitting in the house board. I was doing this. And this here was like an important part of it. Going like this. Right at this part. Because it really... Like, look at that. Really sucks it in there. It makes these flare out. Otherwise, if you didn't do that, these may stay tighter together. But now that thing looks awesome there. It looks like Sideshow Bob. So, another easy way to make sure you're getting the most use out of your bait. So, we're at the end of the video. Just want to say, we did some pretty cool things here tonight. We made our own underspin. We pretty much recycled baits to make baits that we may have not had otherwise. We have a uh, split ring here to make a nice Nico, and we reused the shroom head to make a Nico weight. We have a line through bait, a Ned tube, and remember, the stick line works really good to stick through the eye of the hook so that your bait doesn't slide off, and it makes your bait last so much longer, you'll get more fish out of it, less changing the baits out, and you could really, you know, use your baits a lot longer to stretch them out. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to wrap it up. If you liked what you've seen, like, share, subscribe, and uh, see you guys next time. Peace out.